All right, I'm going to cut out of that song because Jeff is live at the beach. Hey, Jeff. I am. How's it going, man? It's going really, really awesome, actually. The, the wall of people here watching is impenetrable. I'm going to start throwing punches just to get to the front so I can uh, give you some decent coverage here. It's wild. What's wild. going on? Pete's just swimming out. I think I see him right now. He's in red. Uh, that's where everybody's looking, so I assume that's him on his way out. Uh, this is it, man. This is the final of the first ever Canadian six-star event, surfing event, uh, in Canada. And this is the f- first time any Canadian's ever done this well. We're inches away from where Pete DeVries grew up and uh, surrounded by locals, well-wishers, friends, family, surf fans. It's wild out here. So I'm looking at the uh, updates on the uh, the website, www.cwctourismtofino.com. Yep. Yep. I'm just going to take a breath and slow down. And who is he competing against? Um, <laughs> that's a great question. Is it, it Jay Thompson? Jay or? Thompson, yes. Yeah, okay. Slipped my mind for a second. There. And he's Australian? Uh, as near as I can tell. Or he's swimming. He ours. had a huge score. Um, he had a 9.6 something in the last heat, which was the biggest uh, the biggest score of the day, of, the, of, to, of today of this event. So, obviously a huge competitor. Um, maybe, maybe Pete has a bit of advantage, having a bit of a rest, a bit longer rest since the last heat. But uh, maybe also Pete had more time to cool down, and uh, and Jay's still got some, uh, you know, got some pump going from the last one. Awesome. So, you know, the battle of what what makes the bigger difference. Uh, uh, the whole time that you and I've been doing this, I haven't been that jealous of you being out there live. Yeah. So I've asked Kim to stick around for a minute with me so that I have someone to hug and jump so up and down and dance around with. That's fantastic. Isn't that great? I'm very I'm very clever. From what you what I've been hearing you say, hugging and jumping up and down are priority for you. Well, in this particular instance, it's definitely a priority. Uh, thanks to Kim for coming in. She's going to be so awesome to see her tomorrow at the at the torch thing. And um, I I think you were going to ask her out on a date, Kim. I'm afraid I don't know. I think I may have already done that. Yeah, but I thought you had some tickets to a show tonight, and you needed a date. Oh yeah, I I, I showed her the tickets, and then she kind of just pushed one back. Oh, so she's going to go, but you're staying. I don't exactly know how this is going to work, but I'm going to keep plying my wares, if you know what I mean. All right, all right. You're a charming fellow. I'm sure it'll work out for you. Well, it usually does. All right. I'm just trying to capture the energy of the crowd here. It's really quite remarkable. We've got uh, big shot resort owners all the way down to people living on Tonquin Beach kind of thing. Everybody's out here. we got a couple of people in their Halloween outfits, um, a lot of where the wild things are, themes, and all kinds of stuff. So people even interrupting their Halloween festivities and other adventures to come down here and cheer on local boy Pete DeVries in what uh, in his professional surfing career is the biggest day of his life and the biggest day of professional surfing's life in Canada. And really. so. did I hear just hear you suggest that surfing is bringing together different social classes, economic classes, and costumes? <laughs> it, sure, it sure seems to be today. It's remarkable. Okay, here's the announcer, announcer here getting things ready. All right. Here, let's uh, let's let him. This is out in the water, Jay Bottle Thompson from Australia, up against Peter DeVries. are you ready? This is awesome. This is totally awesome. Judge is ready. System's ready. I think I might be ready. I got 50 bucks on Pete. <laughs> what? Whatever. <laughs> Maybe Kim will take my bet. She won't get necessarily lynched by uh, the, all the locals if she votes against or bets against Pete. Well, she does spend some time in the states, so maybe she could. Uh, I don't know. It's a little bit more foreign than. But I don't, I don't think she's going to bet against Defino. Same three letters, and it's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. She says she's not betting against them. No. No, that's she's all for Pete a wise choice. All right. Yeah. So everybody wins. Nobody loses. Everybody's a winner, baby. One minute before this all right. Starts. One minute countdown. The energy out here is crazy. I'm an irritating guy walking around with a phone, and nobody's looking at me. Everybody is uh, definitely focused out, looking at waves, trying to theorize where the surfers are going to set up when the heat begins. Okay, it's going to be a little bit longer than a minute. Oh. We're waiting for all the surfers to get all the way out the back. Oh, sh- short delay, making sure everybody gets an equal chance to set up. That's all right. Out. Perhaps you could entertain people with some light humming of, say, the Jeopardy theme. Some song and dance. There are some big waves coming in. See, I told you that the invention of shoulder speakers would be perfect for this time. Shoulder speakers. 
so that like I'm a mobile broadcast post and everybody has to listen to me? Well, it's sort of like that, and you could always be playing the soundtrack of your life. Oh, right. Which for you would be raining men, mostly. <laughs> oh, can't wait until this day is over. <laughs> well, it's been great. It's been so much fun. Um, thanks to everybody who has been listening through all this, and saying thanks to the Wicked Edition for making it possible, and uh, you down at the studio, and Tim, and uh, all our guests, all the interviewees, people from O'Neill. I was talking to Larry, one of the in-water camera guys again, and uh, he's got some great shots from the last sheet, so we're going to have some great videos popping up on O'Neill.com of all this. Well, here we go. Three, two, one. That's it. The action begins. Right on. Peter DeVries is in red. Jay Bottle Thompson in white. 30 minute heat. Talk to Wake on your scoreline. Someone's going to be walking away as the champion. DeVito, can you handle this tension? Wild. Wild stuff. And the wind has just kind of died down just for this. Quick in and out for Thompson, but uh, nothing that will score, really. So they're both out in the water paddling around, catching waves now? Yeah, ready for waves. It's all underway now. We'll be a uh, half-hour heat here. All right, so if you're not listening, I hope you're down at the beach, and if you are listening, well, perhaps this will be a good time to phone a friend and tell them to tune in to 90.1. If you're in New Clovet, 99.5. Hope you're listening. Tremendously exciting. This is this is wild. Here, here's a rundown on Thompson. Early rank number thirty one on the planet. Having a great run here at this event, needing a real big result to re qualify for next year's tour. A lot on the line here for J Bottle Thompson. Twenty thousand dollars to the winner, twenty five hundred points. Runner up takes ten thousand. 188 points. So I don't think Pete's actually interested in the points in any way. I'm not sure if he's trying to qualify for any of the events that carry him through to. Well, I just heard them say the other guy was ranked 32nd in the world. Yeah, the other guy, uh, Thompson, is definitely a, a, a top dog. It's going to be a huge so where does Pete stand in that ranking? I don't think Pete's necessarily on that particular ranking's radar. So don't the points then help him get towards that? I suppose it would. I just don't know if he's been challenging at that level for a long time. It was a couple of years ago that he uh, was his last competition in a QS event. So this is actually kind of a guy that they were keeping an eye on a while ago, and he dropped out of this kind of international level of competition for a bit, and he's back showing that uh, there was no reason as far as his abilities go for him to not be competing there. It was just uh, something that happened. So... I don't think he's seated at this point. He has been in the past in that rating system. Oh, I'm tangled up in a dog. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of stuff going on. Still waiting for a decent, scorable wave here, but uh, watching this all unfold. Well, you are keeping it tantalizing and exciting. Uh, I'm trying. I'm no Kim Kuzma. You know what? I'm going to 100% agree with you on that one, my friend. <laughs> I wonder what the Vegas odds were on that one. Yeah, pretty remarkable, given the uh, event itself and Pete being a local Canadian, the where it's at, what's going on. Oh. Peter DeVries just going all out, going for growth. He knows J. Ball Thompson able to put up some giant scores as he showed his semi number two. With a 9.67, he knows he's got to bring, bring up his game. So yeah, Pete's strategy, seemingly, if he could say he had a strategy, was to get lots of points. Sounds funny, but he, he uh, opened most of the heats with one big wave, you know, a 9 or a high 7 for the most part, and then that left him the comfort to have a solid second score. And that's what he seemed to do in the semifinals just now, and he just had a big move on a decent wave, but was unable to keep it together, and that would have been a nice opening well, score. You know, it's funny, I'm looking at the uh, live results page, and they're not showing this one. They're not telling well, us about it, that it'll one. It'll probably take a couple seconds to trickle down. They haven't actually given us a score on the value of it yet out here. So once we know on live on the beach, they have to send it through the system. Here we go. Really good. That's Peter 
Oh my God, what a shot!